Hello, this is Rug Lover Mary, and today I'm going to show you how you can tell if your rug needs to be cleaned. And it's very easy to do. I'm going to do it today on a piece of white Tyvek since our carpet will not show the dirt as much. But if you have a light floor, you will be able to see the, the dirt come out of the rug. As you can see, that uh, the Tyvek is clean and there's the front of the rug and this is the back of the rug and I do apologize this video may get a little jittery today and what you do on the back of the rug is you take your vacuum and you just vacuum over the back and don't vacuum up the fringes Vibrate the back. And you do this slowly. And then when you lift up the rug, you will see that just by light vacuuming the back, how much grit and dirt is hiding in this rug. Now this rug is not very thick. It's less than a half an inch thick, but because it's Persian and a very dense knot, it hides a lot more dirt than most area rugs. Because every time you walk on it, all the loose dirt that's on top of the rug gets pushed down inside. And at the base of the fibers is where it just keeps compacting and compacting. And over several months or years, your rug could be hiding several pounds of that. And this is only a 3x5. And that was only taking the vacuum over it for a few seconds. So think of what's going to happen when we take and put this through the rug badger process and vibrate the whole rug at a much higher rate than the vacuum did. And this is also why you should turn your rugs upside down at least once a month and vacuum the back and then vacuum the front. You will be removing so much more of that gritty dirt and that dirt is what wears away at the fibers every time you step on it making your rug look older and not last as long. So please, once a month, turn over your rugs, especially ones in entryways and ones that are used often, that are walked on often, and get as much of this out as you can. That is why we do it first before we clean the rugs because that turns to mud and doesn't leave the rug. It just stays at the bottom. So we have to get that out first before cleaning. This has been Rug Lover Mary with your tip to vacuum the back of your rugs, please. Thank you.